Hello, this is Harvey Vagabond Jerry, and I'm going to take a guided tour of Soapy Smith's Museum. And this building was originally a bank, and then it was turned into a bar and a gambling hall. And that was at a time when liquor was illegal here in Alaska. Here's some more info about it. The greatest attraction in the world, boy, that's quite a claim. This is looking down into it. <laughs> so folks, again, welcome to uh, Jeff Smith's Parlor Museum. And so during the Klondike Gold Rush, uh, this would have been the headquarters for uh, Soapy Smith, right? This notorious con man uh, who kind of ran the criminal empire here in Skagway, right? And so just a little bit of his life history, uh, just so we're all somewhat familiar with him as a person, right? Um, so he was originally from Georgia. He's from a pretty well-to-do family. Uh, Post-Civil War, uh, their family circumstances changed, so they relocated to Texas. From Texas, uh, in Denver, that's where he earned the nickname Soapy Smith, right? And so he got the nickname Soapy because one of his most famous scams, uh, he would actually sell people uh, cakes of soap uh, for a dollar a piece, right? And wrapped inside the wrapper would have been anywhere from a five to a twenty dollar bill. And so he would come up and he would entice people, you know, take the chance uh, to win some money, right? And you had his kind of cronies all stationed around in the crowd. They would come up, they knew which soaps to pick, so that would uh, entice people. So, you know, everyone's winning this money, get people spending their dollars, right? And so, just to give you a sense of what it was like back then to spend a dollar for a bar of soap, uh, so one of his scams is that he would actually kind of just, in a roundabout way, just mug people. Uh, so, right, that eventually led to his downfall. And so, the way it was a scam, uh, the best example is a man named J.D. Stewart. So, uh, J.D. Stewart, he arrived here from Dawson with about $3,000 worth of gold dust. Uh, he's trying to find a place in town uh, who's going to give him the best rate to exchange that for some banknotes, right? And so, Sophie Smith's men, they're all through town, they convince him you should go to Jeff Smith's parlor. Uh, you know, give you a really good rate. Uh, he got into one of these back rooms here, and then they mugged him. <laughs> and so, it was just a group of people who had kind of had enough of uh, Sophie Smith running the town, uh, all the crime and things like that. And so they're actually having a meeting on July 8th, 1898, um, about what they're going to do with Sophie Smith, right? And Sophie Smith, he hears about that meeting, and he staggers his way, seemingly drunk, down in the area where we're standing now, um, the back rooms is where uh, he would have ran this kind of gambling racket um, from. And so after Soapy Smith was shot, uh, there was a few other businesses that tried to open up in this building, uh, a couple more saloons and things like that. Um, ultimately, they all failed. Or, and so uh, this building sat pretty much um, not really being used up until about the early 1930s. Sophie Smith is represented here, of course, because it's his parlor, and like I said earlier, it's an interesting story, right? Uh, this room here, it represents a more broad view of the state, however. Um, so that's why looking at some of these photos, we start to see Alaska as a whole a little more represented, right? Um, and he took one of the streetcars um, down the coast of California and did a trip down there. While he was there, he actually met up with uh, Mae West. So pretty, uh, good for Omar. <laughs> but, um, so, uh, Martin Hitchin ran this building as a museum up until about 1942. Um, that is also the year that he passed away. And so, after that, uh, George Raguzzi kind of took ownership of the building, and he is responsible for a, a lot of what we see here in this room. Uh, he just wanted to continue Martin Hitchin's vision of filling this museum with what he thought people wanted to see, right? Um, so who came here to see some wildlife and things like that? You know, show We're all going to meet up in the second middle room here in um, about six to eight minutes. But um, we kind of wander around. I uh, can wander as well. I'm going to stay in this place. Well, that was an 
interesting little tour. Good day, folks.